What's happening? Welcome back to Ragdown Planting. So today I'm propagating the Hawaiian dwarf. Hawaiian plant, tropical plant, I mean. This plant um, likes lots of light and it can tolerate lots of sun. I'm gonna try to save both pieces. Of course, I have to free the stem for other leaves to grow. And that's a pretty healthy stem. Let me turn my radio down. I learned that this part don't grow roots. It's more of in the stem, the stem in here. This is where the roots begin grow, not on this part. So I can clip this, but since it's round, I wanna make it straight. So I'm gonna have to clip off a lot of this bottom. Ah. Oh. Propagation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what else we have for propagation. Ooh, look at this Hawaiian door. She's ready to be potted. So is this one. This Hawaiian dwarf has very small roots, but I don't know. Was that rotting? It seems pretty strong once I pull that piece off. I'm gonna plant it as well. That's gonna be a nice bouquet. So at this time, I'm going to plant my Hawaiian dwarf. And I have one, two, three, four pieces. I need some drainage. And this will be enough. For the small pot, I don't need much. And apply your soil first to give your roots something to grab onto. Now, this piece is super tall. <laughs> I'm going to put all the plants in the middle of the pot. I just noticed that my soil isn't mixed with cactus soil. And this is what your potting soil for your cactus looks like. And I just apply some to my bag.
So this just allows for good drainage. Let's continue. You see how they have arches slightly? I'm pointing them towards the rim of the pot. Just so when they begin to grow, they'll grow over the pot. my little tropical plant Hawaiian dwarf now this plant will need plenty of sunlight and since I don't have that right now during the winter I will put this plant right in front of my plant lamp for about six to eight hours a day See how she does. It is so pretty, I love it. 